some celebrities like Britney Spears are actually embracing theirs. Um, Britney Spears, apparently, she said, I have cellulite on my butt. What can I say? It's real. It's not like I'm going to cry about it. It's life. It's what and who you are. Um, <laughs> that's what Britney thinks. What do you think, Katie? Well, I have to say something, whether you believe it or not, whether magazines print what they want, it's a genetic thing. My mum hasn't got any stretch marks or cellulite. I haven't got any cellulite and no stretch marks. To the point they said today, would you wear a bikini? But as you know, I had an upset tummy, not an excuse. Next week I'll come out in a bikini, no problem. I have no cellulite. Can I just say that's good, because I've got your bikini here for next week. <laughs> Fit the new boobs. It doesn't matter, Kate. It'll cover what it needs to cover. <laughs> <I know. laughs> the thing is, big enough for them. You can have cellulite, whether you're big, small. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've got friends who are tiny and they've got cellulite. You know, we're women. They never pick on men about it. Not that men really have. It's true. They, don't, do they? they pick on us women. Um, I don't know if you girls got cellulite, stretch marks. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the other thing is, I mean, I like to see cellulite on other people. I certainly wouldn't want to see a pap of myself. <laughs> so I have to admit, it's a, it's a sneaky bit of pleasure when I see a beautiful young girl or even older um, in the papers and magazines with lots of cellulite. I oh, think, it's oh, fabulous. I'm not on my own, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't Party believe pop, there's any <laughs> treatment. <laughs> there's no treatment that can get rid of it. I'll have all these beauticians that have an go at me. There's so many trims. They say, oh, your cellulite can go, this, that. I don't believe it. They have these body brushes. They're, they're like, brush away, get rid of your cellulite. Now, what they say is Rubbish. it can improve the appearance of cellulite yeah. um, uh, rather than just remove it altogether. If, if you, you did have it, though, what would, would you try would you and get I don't hide it? anything, do I? No, you no, don't. No, I'm not Katie saying you're Price. hiding <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, maybe on my belly. If there's anything I hate, it's always my belly. Yes, but I'm saying, if you all of a sudden woke up tomorrow and you were covered in cellulite, would you try well, and cosmetically get rid of it? If I squeeze my bum together, you know when you squeeze yeah. it together, then I've probably got dimples I know you haven't got cellulite. Yes, if it makes everyone happy, if I get a bit of cellulite, maybe if I squeeze my leg like no, that or something like that. No, but if you did, yeah, would you have would an me? operation to get rid of it? There you... isn't no operation. But if there was, would you do it? Because you do have operations. All oh, right, would you wear a bikini on the beach and be packed no, no, if don't, you had don't, don't go on the beach. I get villa. Oh, you're oh, getting right. Oh, <laughs> so you do like it? No, if I do have cellulite, I don't care. I'm a yeah, woman. I've got five kids. Big bloody deal. I don't believe would you that. Know? You oh. would be doing something to make that cellulite better. I know you would. Well, do you know, I have to say, I was in the unfortunate position of I was on a beach a year ago and I did get papped and my cellulite was blasted all over the papers oh. and to the world and um, it's horrible you know there's one that when if you if you are unfortunate enough to get snapped by the paparazzi you are lying if you say that you know it doesn't bother you. it only doesn't bother you if you look really hot <laughs> <laughs> when they catch you as they did with me is I had a wedgie because we were putting some tan lotion on and, and Nick pulled my Bikini bottoms up and went, ha, ah, look, you got a wedgie like Simon Cowell. And I'm going, ha, ah, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> it was the most horrible picture. And yes, I had dimples. And it's mortifying. However, you know, it's Put real. it this way. How many press schools have I done in bikinis, underwear and swim shots? Countless. Now, I'm sure <laughs> if I had cellulite, they would have picked up on it. And yeah. they haven't in 23 years. Um, you could have been airbrushed, oh. technically, technically. No, can yeah, I say, I'm airbrushed air 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 to you um, when you've been wearing weenie pictures. shorts. And I yeah. really look. I tell you, I tell and you don't something. have any. <laughs> Story about Gloria, Prince you Diana. just want me to have cellulite, don't you? <laughs> no, I do. Yes, I yes, do. You do. Well, I'm perfect in that way. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> You're perfect, though. Princess Diana, that story about Princess Diana. That's right. You, what yeah, was that? yeah. She, um, I think it was back in uh, 1996. Uh, she was so upset when the, the the press actually called her Princess Lumpy Legs, and they they got a oh. picture of her. And apparently, it was indents from from a seat. And she actually let it be known to the press, I do not have cellulite. Actually, it was it was so it, yeah, upset her to the point. Now, where well, can I just she finish this by saying? Yeah. I think let's just embrace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like a cuddle, but I prefer a cellulite free cuddle, if I'm really <laughs> honest. Nobody likes it. Well, so would Nick, probably. Yeah, I know, he doesn't have a choice. I know, for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> for more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.